so you would like to draw a 45 degree, 45 degree, and 90 degree triangle with a compass. Well, here's how. So you have a line. What you want to do now is you want to bisect this line, make a perpendicular bisector. If you don't remember how, you just put your stabby stabby end of the compass on one end of the line, segment, one point on the line or one end of the end of the segment. Make sure the compass is extended more than halfway. You can't exactly bisect a line, so usually it's a segment. But you can create a perpendicular line to a line. So in any case, make a perpendicular line. Deal with it. Draw this. this is similar to something that you may have seen in the previous one of my videos. Now you stick the stabby stabby end on the center here. Make sure that the uh, pencil end, if you do a circle, will intersect with each line, each little segment of this thingy here, at least once, and draw a circle. I mean, this compass is going to slip on me if I don't hold this down. So there, that's a circle. Now, you draw a square. But wait, you might say, a square isn't a triangle. And yeah, I know a square isn't a triangle. But, here's why constructing a square to make a triangle is important. Now, you know what makes up a square? All sides are equal length. All angles are 90 degrees. And, you know, these lines are parallel. And this line and this line, is gonna, this line that I'm about to draw is going to be parallel. Now, another thing is, you have a 90 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. Now, what happens when you bisect a 90 degree angle? You get two 45 degree angles. So look what I have here. 90 degree angle, 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle. There you go. And as a bonus, you now have two for the price of one.